Hello everyone. So today I will be showing showing you three complex factorization of the quadratic expressions. How to factorize these three problems? Three expressions I have written. These three are three different types of problems. I will show you how I will be resolving this using middle term factorization method. Let us start with the first one. So what is the first one? First one is 2 into a square plus 1 by a square minus a minus 1 by a minus 7. So let us start that. So for this one, I am writing the expression as 2 into a square plus b square. This is the format. It can be written as a minus 1 by a whole square plus 2 into a into 1 by a because a square plus b square can be written as a minus b whole square plus 2ab. Minus a minus one by a minus seven. Now it comes to two into a minus one by a whole square plus two minus a minus one by a minus seven. Okay. Now let us assume a minus one by a as x. I am doing a substitution here. So it comes to two into x square plus two. Here a and a goes off, so that is why it is two minus x minus seven. That means it is two x square plus four minus x minus seven. That is two x square minus x minus three. Now by the middle term process, you can see two and three is multiplied to each other. It gives six. So how I can derive minus x? That is the coefficient of middle term. It is minus one. This one I am writing as 2x square minus 3x plus 2x minus 3. 3 and 2 is 6, so minus 3x plus 2x gives minus x. So I am using this middle term factor. So <coughs> if I take common, then from the first two expression I will be getting. If I take common x from the first two expressions, then I am getting x into 2x minus 3 plus 2 into sorry plus 1 into 2x minus 3. Third and fourth expression is nothing but 2x minus 3 only. So my ultimate factorization will be x plus 1 into 2x minus 3. Now what is x plus 1? X is a minus 1 by a as per my substitution. So it is a minus 1 by a plus 1. Into 2a minus 2 by a minus 3. All right. So this is how I am solving this factorization using middle term method. Next, come to the second one. What is that? The second factorization that I have written today is basically x square plus 2ax plus A plus B into A minus B. Okay, how to factorize this? Now you can see here the coefficient of x square is one, and here the last that is the constant coefficient is A plus B into A minus B. So how I can multiply one with this, and then I can find out the middle term factor that is two A. Now, if one is multiplied with this, then the same result it comes. That is a plus b into a minus b. But if you just note, then a plus b plus a minus b is nothing but b b goes off. Then it is two a. So I can use this technique to derive two a in the middle term. So here I can write it as x square plus a plus b plus a minus b. Let me give. This second bracket and then multiply with x to get 2x and then a plus b into a minus b. Okay, now here it is nothing but if I multiply x with the bracket internal expressions, then it is x square plus a plus b x plus a minus b x plus a plus b into a minus b. Okay. Now, if I take common x from the first two, then I I get x plus a plus b 
and from the third and fourth expression if i take common a minus b then i also get x plus b plus b a plus b so my final factorization result will be x plus a minus b into x plus a plus b so here the technique is how to add a plus b and a minus b and how i can get 2a as the middle term and now i go to the last problem that i have written what is that that is 6 into 6 into a plus b whole square 6 into a plus b whole square minus 5 into a square minus b square minus 6 into a minus b whole square how to solve this for doing this i am multiplying 6 and 6 what i am getting i am getting 6 into 6 is 36 but how i have to separate out 36 so that i can get minus 5 in the middle term 36 can be written in many ways but here i will take this 4 into 9 because that is the only option because 9 minus 4 is giving me 5 so i have to leverage this 36 in this way to utilize this middle term so here i will be writing it 6 into a plus b whole square minus 5 into a square minus b square as standard formula of algebra is a plus b into a minus b minus 6 into a minus b whole square let us assume a plus b equal to x and a minus b equal to y for our convenience so it will be 6 into x square minus 5xy minus 6 into y square 6x square minus 5xy can be written as 9xy minus plus 4xy so minus 9 plus 4 means minus 5 that is why we are able to resolve the middle term minus 6y square now if you common 3x from the first two then i get 3x minus 2y plus 2y if take common then it is uh, 2x sorry it is uh, 3x minus if i take common 3x uh, then it will be 2x minus 3y sorry a mistake is there in this expression If I take common 3x from the first two, then I get 3x. Then it will be 2x minus 3y. And similarly, if I get common 2y from the third and fourth expression, then it is getting uh, 2x minus 3y. Right. So my final answer will be 3x minus 2y into 2x minus 3y. Okay. Now what is my substitution? Substitution is a plus b is x and a minus b is y. so my final answer will be 3 into a plus b minus 2 into a minus b right this is one expression and another will be 2 into a plus b minus 3 into a minus b right so you can further simplify this and find out what a and b some a and b related expressions will be there so that is the first factor and this is the second factor so this is the three different types of problems i have shown you which can be using which can be used by middle term factorization method so if you like this video i will request everyone to view and subscribe my channel as well thank you